popularity of the Scandinavian business class sedan is declining, obviously, the age of the S80, which revealed itself to the world eight years ago, is affecting. In anticipation of a successor, we decided to find out how much it would cost to maintain a three-year-old copy, since the 80s of the very first generation, which was produced from 1998 to 2006, just let us down in terms of reliability. The second generation car was created on the EUCD platform, common with the Ford Mondeo. The car appeared in Russia in the autumn of 2006, it looked much more elegant than its predecessor, and in terms of interior decoration it successfully competed with representatives of the prestigious German Troika. And although he failed to catch up with them in popularity, Volvo still managed to win a fairly large number of fans. It is noteworthy that today it is not so easy to find a 2011 S80 in the secondary market. At best, only 1 in 10 owners seeks to sell their Swedish sedan, which has reached the age of 3. And it would also be useful to recall that in that same 2011, the base price tag of the front-wheel drive S80, equipped with a 231-horsepower turbo 5 T5, started at 1,339,900 rubles. The minimum entrance ticket for owning an all-wheel drive sedan cost 1,749,900 rubles body and its electrical equipment. There are no special claims to the body itself, the excellent quality of the coloring allows you to keep the elegant look of the car for a long time, and the galvanization protects the parts from swelling in the place of chips from stones and accidental scratches. But chrome-plated decorative elements that give the car solidity and style last a maximum of three years in a modern metropolis. So if before the sale the first owner did not bother to replace the glossy metal in a circle, feel free to demand a discount on the elimination of a defect that is important for the business class. Sometimes the glass and headlight washer reservoir may leak, due to banal cracking. By five years of operation, the electric lock of the trunk fails, much less often, the doors. But by and large, these are not so serious problems that entail by no means burdensome costs. Transmission all modifications of the S80 officially sold in Russia were equipped with the 6-speed Eisen TF-80SC automatic transmission. In addition to Volvo, it can be found in a number of Land Rover, Ford, Mazda and Mazda models. Opel, much more reliable than its predecessor, the 5-speed Eisen AW55-50SN, AW55-51SN, for all-wheel drive modifications. And yet, the engineers failed to completely cure the main disease of the 55th boxes, the failure of the hydraulic control unit. Moreover, replacing the block itself often does not help, since it is possible to obtain an ideal pairing of automatic transmission parts only in the factory. So if, with a run of 100,000 kilometers or more, you feel jolts and jerks when switching, get ready for big expenses, since it is quite possible that the only way to treat a depressed box will be to completely replace it. Therefore, remember that at least once every 60,000 kilometers it is vital to replace the transmission oil, of course, only with the original Volvo transmission oil, and monitor the automatic transmission radiator, regularly cleaning it from dirt. In all-wheel drive modifications, due to overheating, the clutch pump can fail, so you should not often need the dirt outside the asphalt, the car feels comfortable on good, albeit slippery, surfaces. Engines Four of the five S80s that are on the secondary market are equipped with a 231 horsepower T5 Turbo 5. With this engine, the sedan was the most affordable. The abilities of the base engine are more than enough for a fairly dynamic movement both in the city and on the highway. But with reliability, not everything is going smoothly for him. Ignition coils fail in the heat, and if they are not changed in time, then the expensive ECM engine control module will resign in the future. Quite often, the thermostat is buggy, blocking the way for antifreeze to fully circulate in a large circle of the cooling jacket, which leads to frequent overheating of the motor. The most powerful Turbo 6 T6 has similar problems, and given the maximum possible vehicle tax rate, this option looks less interesting for the second buyer from a practical point of view. The owner of a naturally aspirated inline 6 will feel much calmer. Take this engine to the car despite the greater power of 243 horsepower compared to the T5. Width will decrease, but the above problems are completely devoid of. The only pity is that due to the rather high price of new cars, it is not easy to find a suitable option. However, if you are not an opponent of more noisy and vibration-loaded diesel engines, you can look for a 205 horsepower modification, 
finding such an S80 is easier than the version with a 3.2-liter engine. In terms of reliability, it is practically not inferior to the latter and much more economical. The most important thing is not to forget for preventive purposes to clean the EGR exhaust gas recirculation system every 80 to 100,000 kilometers. A less powerful 163 horsepower turbo diesel is also not bad, but it is practically not seen on the secondary market. Very rarely, resellers can meet 80s that came from Europe with a T4 gasoline engine, familiar from the S60 model, a 2 liter 4 with a capacity of 240 horsepower. The one that equips the powerful Mondeo, as well as a very stunted 109 horsepower 1.6 liter turbo diesel. Chassis and steering. Fortunately, the suspension cannot be called the weak point of the car, it begins to attract attention only when it runs well over 100,000. In this case, it is necessary to prepare for the replacement of the front and rear shock absorbers, which will not cost so much. The exception is modifications with electronically controlled racks the repair of which is five times more expensive, and therefore many owners change the smart suspension to a regular one. Wheel bearings, unlike their predecessor, serve 200 or more thousand kilometers. The wear of brake pads, of course, depends on the geography of operation. In a metropolis, the front ones can give up already at 30,000 kilometers, and the rear ones at 40,000. Brake discs, as a rule, survive two or three sets of pads. The S80 is quite suitable for the role of a solid second-hand car, you just need to avoid rather capricious petrol turbo engines. And to avoid problems with an automatic transmission, do not spare money for high-quality automatic transmission diagnostics at a dealership. It is even better to do it twice, in independent service stations.